Good afternoon everyone, Wendy here from the Gasho Center and I'm really excited to welcome Nick Diaz uh, for this weekend's Kundalini and Inner Dance classes. I just had a few questions. Um, welcome Nick. Thank you. <laughs> and um, so the, um, I've had a lot of questions about what Kundalini Yoga was. Can you just tell me what's the difference between Kundalini and the regular type of yoga classes? Yeah, so Kundalini Yoga is known as the Yoga of Awareness and it was brought to the West by Yogi Bhajan in the 70s and it's usually it's pretty much the difference is that you use a lot of mantra a lot of breath work and a lot of postures so can you explain what mantra is so mantras are essentially positive affirmations so in kundalini yoga it's seen as a th kind of technology in the sense that when you chant the mantra you're actually not really invoking anything like it's more like a positive affirmation but at the same time it activates certain points inside your mouth and your tongue that essentially vibrate throughout your body. So there's a physical component, it's just Physi not like psychological? No, it's not just mental, it's totally physical. So it kind of helps you cut through like thought patterns and, and feelings as well. So it's really a tool to kind of get into that space wherein you can tap into a meditative state, essentially. So the difference with Kundalini Yoga like compared to like Hatha, Vinyasa, we're, we're in a, a bit more, um, how do you say this, like repetitive. In Kundalini Yoga, every class is different, right. so it's always specific to a certain kind of um, theme. Like it could be as uh, broad as expansion or okay. forgiveness or the circulatory system, and everything is really just address that certain component in your body or your mind or your soul. So it's you know it's always something very visceral. I would say it's probably the most intense, but also the most meditative kind of uh, yoga in my opinion mm -hmm. and I think the fact that it's called the yoga of awareness it's really that because it the mantra the chanting mm -hmm. and the postures you know some of them aren't exactly traditional yoga postures but for me it's like you're using your body as a as a tool to get into a certain state mm -hmm. and sometimes it's an altered state mm -hmm. but essentially for me you just always feel good after like it's not just a physical like sensation it's like a, like a, it feels like a like a reset so right, it's right. yeah it's, it's amazing <laughs> yeah. so for this weekend uh you have a different theme for every class yes can you give us an example maybe yeah so a, um like for um, tomorrow yeah so <laughs> for for tomorrow we're going to do something called the the nabi kriya so the nabi is actually means navel in gurmukhi so the nabi kriya is essentially like uh an exercise that focuses on your navel point because your navel point is your center so that's where you hold all of the emotions like all of the things your security you know your confidence and when you work in your navel point you strengthen your core and you strengthen your confidence like the way you approach life so it's a it's an intense um, Kriya so a Kriya is essentially like a, um, a sequence of exercises and meditation that's all tied together and um, it's it, the difference with Kundalini Yoga compared to like um, Hatha and Vinyasa. Like we usually do warm ups first, and then we do like certain breath works and certain certain postures. And then we do Shavasana, right. and then we do the meditation. Right, so right, like right. it's 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 a different like format and yeah. flow, but um, but for me it, it makes sense though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like so we will not be Kriya. Um, we'll be doing like the Kriya for elevation. So essentially with elevation, you try to elevate your, your consciousness, like okay. your, your vibration. And it's, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but essentially yeah, yeah. you're <laughs> using a lot, of, a lot of breath work, a lot of mantra, a lot of chanting. And um, some of them are very physical. Others are a bit more gentle, but more in a meditative like space. And, um, but yeah, no, it's really like, that's, that's pretty much a glimpse of what we're going to be doing the next few days. And um, it's for total beginners. Is it okay for them to join? Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like I think with Kundalini Yoga, all you need is an open mind, okay. and to just really just embrace the practice and do your best. It's, it's actually the, for me the nice thing about Kundalini Yoga is you meet it meets you where you're at. So whatever, yeah. like in terms of your range of motion, in terms of like yeah. your experience of meditation, zero or 
with experience, like it, it's fine. Yeah. Like you'll still benefit from it. And my little experience with Kundalini, um, I would say the the regular yoga is more on form mm -hmm. and fitness, and it's more Kundalini is more internal, right? Hundred yeah. percent. Like I mean, yeah, like it mat like we there are certain when it comes to the physical poses and the um, the breathwork and the meditative practices. You know, there is like a proper way of doing it, but it's not as rigid as the other practices, yeah, yeah. like the other yogic practices. Yeah. So it's like really like you just do your best. Yeah, yeah. And that's for me, that's what I love about it. Like wherever you're at, it's fine. Cool. Cool. And so um, can they just wear their regular yoga clothes? Or? 100%. Okay. 100%. Like just yeah. really casual yeah. stuff, yeah. like anything that's comfortable, like just uh, maybe just a blanket just or a shawl for like the meditation. Sure, yeah. sure, sure.